Hey guys, guess what? What? I'm gonna cut Ollie's hair with his scissors. Ollie, you want me to cut your hair? No. <laughs> I feel like I say no. <laughs> Today's story is called, Even Monsters Need Haircuts. <laughs> Even Monsters Need Haircuts by Matthew McElligot. Look at that little boy. He's got scissors. And look at this person's head. Do you know yeah. who this is? A monster. It's a monster. His name is Frankenstein. Yes, sister. Yeah, and he's got bolts. He's got bolts attached to the side of his head. And there's all the hair products. Spray. And there's the monsters. Let's say they're singing. <clears throat> My dad is a barber. I like to watch him work. I'm a barber too. A barber is someone who cuts hair. Tonight will be a full moon. I need to get to bed early. They're going to bed. Getting ready to go home. Just before midnight, I hear a soft tap, tap, tapping sound. Vlad is waiting for me at the window. What the bat? Look, the little boy's eyes open. He's been waiting for the bat. I grab my pack and climb down the tree. Together, we cross the fields into town. I'm not allowed out of the house alone. But I'm not alone. Vlad's with me. No, that door's open. And yeah, his window's open? Mm -hmm. That's where he climbed out. I don't think I want to climb out of a window that tall, that high off the ground. Yeah, me neither. Mm. Me neither. Soon we arrive at the alley behind the shop. <laughs> I have a skeleton key. And it opens the door. I unpack my supplies. The rotting tonic, the horn polish, and stink wax go on the counters. The shampoo, ew, goes next to the sink. I tuck the moon powder into my pocket, right next to my tangling brush. I'm ready to begin. Hey, monster. You see his, his slippers? Monster. He has monster slippers. Monster. He has monster name. It is. Around 1230, Igor wanders in. Look at Igor right there. And you can see his reflection over there. It's his reflection. That's his first, the first monster. Uh -huh. that the first one. customer. Mm -hmm. What's this say? Mm-hmm. that called? It's Igor. It's Igor? Mm-hmm. Where's Igor? By one o'clock, the shop is full. It's going to be a busy night. That's a lot of hair. Hmm, let me see. Wait, go back. I think the hair that would be the, the one that I would want to cut would be would be his because he doesn't have very much i just have to snip a little bit i, I want to cut i want to cut that one mm. i want to cut that one that one right there okay. uh, that'd be hard okay. i mean i want to cut the that one those mm. okay. You want to cut that one too? Yeah. You cut that with me? I want to cut that with you. Some customers are easy. Look, he only has one long hair. Actually, I want to cut that guy. My question is, is how is the hair standing up? That's weak. That's just crazy. Unless you use a lot of hair product to make his one I hair stand up. Some are more I'd difficult. Yeah, I cut that one. But that one, no. No, you almost have Look, he's using hedge trimmers. You almost have to get an electric, electric saw to cut his hair off. I do not want to cut that hair. Definitely yeah. not. I want to cut off the bald one. Some always get the same thing. Look, he's getting the buzz cut for Frankenstein. Some always want to try something new. Oh no, he's having to cover his eyes while he's doing Medusa's hair. Can you say Medusa? Uh -huh. Medusa. For all the friends out there who don't know Medusa is, she's part of ancient stories about a woman whose hair was made out of snakes. And anyone who'd ever look at her would turn into stone. Can you pretend like you're turning into stone? That's how it would be. And with custom and with some customers, it's tough to know exactly what they want. Look, it's a skeleton trying to get a haircut. Yeah. He has no hair. Things are going well. Everyone's getting along. And then it happens. There's a knock at the front door. There's an no one ever knocks on the front door. They all know what they all know to come in the back. Who could it be? be? Who could it be? And then the door opens. 
It is a customer, a human customer. We've never had a human customer before. What are we going on? Dad! There's a little boy. Yeah, a little boy He's surprised because there's a human wanting a haircut. Nobody moves as the man Daddy, walks look. to the barber chair. Daddy, look. He's hiding up there on the fan? Yeah. He's hiding there? All the, all the different, all the different uh, monsters are hiding while the human comes in. I'm nervous. More nervous than I've ever been. And then he asks me, Hey, can you take a little off the top? <laughs> his, head's, his head's detached from his... Body. From his body. We all have a good laugh over that one. Look, they're all laughing. <laughs> the sun will be up soon, and the monsters have to go. We sweep up the shop. I wonder how long it takes to sweep up all the hair. We flip the pictures back and turn out the lights. It's important that we don't leave anything behind. They don't want to leave. They don't want to leave any evidence. Any signs that they were there. Some of the guys give me a ride home. See you next month, I shout. Soon my dad will be waking up to go to work. He has his own customers to take care of. Uh -oh. After all, even humans need haircuts. No, no, and no, look no. right there, I don't know if you guys, if all of our, our friends watching can see it, but there's a, there's a bottle that his dad's reaching for and it's his rotting tonic. <gasps> He's going to use the wrong one. The no, monster. The monster. The one for monsters. Can you say dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. And that is even monsters need haircuts. We hope you guys enjoyed this. We're in the month of October. We thought you'd enjoy this. Feel free to check out the description below to see how you can add this book to your collection as well as support the author and our channel. And we will see you next time. Don't let the monsters cut your hair. Where's my scissors? <laughs>